it's hotel packing day! Yay! Looks like it's gonna be a fun day inside. So it's a rainy and gloomy day out today and both my boys are sleeping so I decided for this video today I'm just going to show you what we are packing to take with us to the hotel. We are leaving Saturday to stay at the hotel and we will be there for a week until we head home. So right now I'm just going to do like the clothes and I'm putting my clothes, my boys, in um, my suitcase. I tried not to overpack. I did try to pack a, pack a little extra, but also not as much because there will be a washer and dryer there available for us to use. So I'm going to start off with me first. So I never really know what I'm going to wear. I'm one of those people where I'm like, yeah, I'll pack this, and then I never end up wearing it. So I packed a bunch of stuff. This is just some gym shorts that my are actually my husband's. So I'm going to take that for like comfy clothes and just a regular t-shirt, school t-shirt. Um, I also already have my underwear, my breast pads and socks packed. I didn't think you guys wanted to see me pack those. It's kind of personal. Don't need to see my underwear. Um, I also have this cute outfit, just some capris and a v-neck. Um, they're flower print capris. They're super cute. So I'm gonna pack that. And I'm actually rolling all this up, you guys. My husband actually taught me to do this when we pack. It saves so much room. Like, I never... He always told me that. And I was like, yeah, whatever, right? And it saved me from packing an extra bag, so... Um... I have also got... This is my dress outfit I was talking about. It's a cute little skirt, a maxi one, it's got little slits in it, I'm going to pair it up with this cute light tank top, and it's so hard also to pack here because like it keeps going from hot to cold. Like, yesterday was super nice out, super warm, the boys were in shorts, even with it raining. Today it's raining and it's kind of cooler out, like it would be like a pants and shirt kind of day. And I also packed a jean jacket to go with that, in case it's cold. Um, let's see what else I got. I've got another comfy outfit, just a tank top and some shorts. This will also work for pajamas if um, I decide not to wear them during the day. I've got a pair of jeans I'm going to pack. Sorry you guys, I always pack way too much for myself so I'm just looking. Um, I got this sweater for my husband because he is in love with Dragon Ball Z and it is too small so I keep it. So I'm gonna pack that because it also reminds me of him. And I'm gonna pack these shorts. Some nice comfy shorts. The string is weirdly down there. That was really weird. And this shirt I just got on sale. I thought it was so cute just says taken by a soldier my husband <laughs> saw me in it the other day and he's like soldier I'm an airman and I'm just like it's 
you get called soldier too. It's fine. So that's that. I've got a plain white tank top in case I need it for underneath anything. I've got a t-shirt, a camo t-shirt, and I'm just going to pack these shorts to go with it. And I think that is good for clothes. I have a couple extra things laid out here, but I don't think I'm going to need them. I think I overpacked. I am going to pack these capris in case one of the days it's kind of chilly for shorts. And like I said, I didn't pack myself that many outfits because we're going to be doing laundry there. Um, I'd rather pack the boys more things than myself. All right, and I also have my iPad to take and um, some breast milk storage bags. So I'm gonna put those there. I'm gonna move on to Blake. So I grabbed him one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of PJs, but I really don't think he needs that many. So I'm just gonna pack him five. These ones are getting too tight on him anyways. So I've got like a short sleeve um, and pants. I've got a, a, actually a couple of those because my boys sweat, well Liam doesn't, but Blake and my husband sweat so much in their sleep. So it's nice to have like where it's cooler, but have these, what, these pajamas that have pants as well, especially when like they both do sleep without blankets when they get hot. So when the, the fan hits them, at least that's out of the way so and I'm also trying to like pack him his favorite pajamas like I've got dinosaur ones Batman ones um, these monster ones and then a truck pair um, just to like give him a sense of home pack him stuff that he likes I guess you know I think he'll enjoy that and be appreciate that I gotta pack his PJ mask ones because those are his favorite and I know it'll light him up when he sees them And a lot of stuff um, that the boys got for Easter from like grandparents and us are clothing. So I just washed them and put like most of their clothes away just because I knew they had those. Okay, anyways, and then I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs of short outfits plus like two extra pairs of shorts just in case. Like I said, my boys are very messy so I just want to prepare and even if I pack too much, at least I know I've got too much and not too little, right? So we're going to get this stuff packed away. A lot of the clothes here, um, same thing, there's Batman stuff, there's, um, <sighs> there are outfits that he enjoys, like just to help him like help him from being away from home like this was our first home like as a family together especially with Liam and um now we're going like it's grandma's house but we're going somewhere completely kind of new and we're not just going for a couple of weeks like we're staying for nine months and we won't like we won't come back to this house like yes we're coming back to the same air force base and I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up um using the housing option as well but I don't think it's gonna be the same house like there's probably gonna be another family living here so that's it's it's definitely something to think about I also packed some lawn outfits for him it looks like I got three and I packed him an extra sweater so we're gonna roll these up I'm also packing him and Liam both their spring jackets um, I'm not doing that today because we still have two more days but I will be doing that. You guys, before I started this video, I just had all these clothes thrown in my suitcase and it was so messy. Like this look is so much nicer. Okay. Um, I also grabbed him a ton of socks. This kid loses socks like it's nothing, so. 
throw these in here. Swim diapers right here. Okay, so then I got Liam some swim diapers. I'm hoping they're not too small for him because I got these a month ago and his booty is so big we had to switch to size four diapers. So these are a size smaller, but I think it should be all right just with swimming. I'm praying because there's only one diaper taken out of that. Um, I've got him some socks as well. And I've got him one, two, three, four, five, six, six pairs of pajamas as well. And he doesn't sweat so much in his sleep but he's still kind of a warm sleeper. So I kind of just um, did the same thing as Blake, but I do have like one um, sleeper with the footies just in case he gets cold. I'm kind of nervous to see how he's going to do because he's been sleeping in his own room in his crib since he was almost four months old. Um, and it's quiet in there. He doesn't like noise. He goes to sleep at 7, Blake goes to bed at 8, so I'm just kind of curious to see how it goes staying in the hotel room, especially when my husband has to get up for work, um, his alarm going off, and it's, hopefully it won't be as early as this week. He's had a pretty rough week at work, so he's been having to leave the house at 4.30 every morning, and I'm praying to God he does not have to get up that early. <laughs> while the boys and I are sharing the room with him. So we'll see about that. Also, like I said, he won't be in his crib. He'll be in a pack and play. Blake will be sleeping with us. Well, actually, no, it was cheaper to do two beds. So Blake will be in his own bed, but um, it might just end up being my husband and Blake in one bed and me in, me in one bed on that side with Liam. It's probably what's gonna happen. I've heard people like tell me like, hey, you can um, you can put them in the bathroom where there's no noise and turn the fan on in there. I don't know, like that's, I don't know. That's germy and I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't. Um, so Liam has got one, two, three, four, five, six outfits. He's got a lot of rompers because I love that boy in rompers. I love to see his little chunky legs. And I just think they're so cute. This is one of my favorite shirts. We got him. Um, Mama's Epic Dude. And it's so cute. It's a little tank top. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to see him in that. I haven't put him in it yet. I also grabbed him two extra pairs of shorts as well. and I need to actually go grab him a little bit more, but I can't right now because he's napping and I don't wanna wake him. I'm gonna to have to dig through the storage unit, or not the storage unit, the storage bins to find it, but I only grabbed one white onesie, so I need to grab like two more of those. Um, and it looks like I grabbed a lightweight blanket, which is fine. I've got heavier ones downstairs that I'm taking, but I grabbed a sweater and I only grabbed two pairs of pants. I didn't even grab lawn sleeve. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back and grab him some lawn stuff. Oh, I completely forgot about PJs for myself. I've got a bunch of sports bras and nursing bras. So I've got one, two, three pairs of PJs for me. I can do the clothes, like I said before. And it looks like I packed myself two like shorter ones and then like a sweater with some spandex to be honest with you guys most of the time I wear just like a sports bra and shorts to sleep in so it's not really that big of a deal I'm not having a lot of pajamas for myself like I said I'd rather overpack for the boys but I did just get this I got it off Amazon it's a little crop top type thing I think it's so cute um, but yeah, you guys, so that's that for clothing. I'm going to take you downstairs and show you the toys we're packing. We're packing some snacks, um, and some blankets for the car ride that we're going to leave in the car. Um, also, 
I have my toiletries bag. Um, it's a Mary Kay bag. It's super huge. I got it when I was doing Mary Kay. Um, the only thing is I am not going to pack this and show it to you guys just because I need those toiletries for the next two days. So I'm not going to do that, but everything else I'll pack up and show you. Go, go, go. Hi, Liam. Hey, Squish. <laughs> You guys, so there is a couple more things that we are going to be taking with us while we're at the hotel. So right here, I'm going to be taking Liam's bumbo seat and also his little toy over here. Um, his mat, it's all rolled up, clean, fresh out of the washer and dryer. So I'm going to be taking that with us. I'm also going to be taking his jumper, which he's in. And all the stuff that I'm talking about, I'm actually going to put in storage after we get out of the hotel before we leave. Because my mother-in-law has all this stuff. She runs a daycare at her house. So that's kind of nice that I don't have to bring a whole bunch of toys. Anyways, so that will be in the hotel with us. Um, along with... Whoa, buddy. I've got a bunch of toys in here in this little bin. Um, they're all like developmental toys. I've got like um, a book that has like different things, like different toys in it. I've got um, his seahorse Liam's. I've got Blake's favorite trucks and his favorite airplanes. Um, things like that. I've got Buzz and Woody and Bullseye in there. So just things to familiarize with home and to keep the boys busy. Why are you running around a circle around me? <laughs> Kids are crazy. Um, also, we will be taking, I just remembered, our swimsuits. The boys have matching ones. Remembered I forgot to pack those in the suitcase. Um, here's mine. Hold on a second, buddy. Super cute one piece. These are all at Target. Yeah, bud, what's up? Hey! It is raining. Um, I've also got the diaper bag packed and my purse packed, which I'm going to show you guys later on before we leave the hotel. I've got the boys each one of their favorite blankets packed. And then, here, can you hold the puppies to show everyone? Here, hold that one. Hold this one. And then I've got the boys' as puppies. This one's Liam's. Hey, stay here. Stay here. Oh my God. Get back here, crazy. I want to show everyone. So this one's Blake's. He got it from my grandma when he was, it was at his baby shower he got it. And it's his favorite thing in the world. And we actually found another one that's almost exactly like it, but different. It that way on purpose. And Blake actually picked it out and gave it to brother when he actually was Actually going to restock this, but this is what I have all our diapers in to take with. I've got wipes. Um, I've got Blake's diapers over here. And then his night diapers and Liam and his night diapers. I've got some butt rash cream in case we need it. And I've also got some lotion. Both boys have to wear night diapers at nighttime or they break out and they're all red and, and rashy in the morning. Well, my best friend got me this for Christmas and she filled it with like a bunch of cute little things. But um, I decided to fill it with snacks for the boys. So I've got their rice frost. I've got um, blueberry and I believe strawberry. Yep, strawberry rice frosts. We've got some raisins and some cinnamon applesauce, a couple leftover Reese's eggs, we've got trail mix, we've got honey teddy grams, we've got peanut butter crackers, and we've got fruit snacks down in here somewhere. Down here we've got some fruit snacks. So we're trying really hard for the kids to eat healthier. The chocolate's mainly in there for me. And we've also got oranges we're gonna put in there too. So yeah, healthy snacks to keep us through the week so we don't have to keep spending money in order to get different things while we're in the hotel. Do you got the puppies? Where are you going?
so that's it for our vlog today. I hope that you guys learned maybe some helpful tips um, on how to pack for staying away for a while that's not your home or um, with children. It's always a little bit harder when it's not just yourself packing wise to remember everything that you need to pack. Speaking of which, I forgot to tell you guys, I am bringing the pack and play. It's in Liam's room. I just got to haul it down with every um, everything else that we've got packed. But yeah, you guys, that's about it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. <laughs> I had to remember what day it was. Um, enjoy your day and just put a smile on that face. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, thanks for watching again. Make sure you follow us on our Facebook page, Casually Spec Vlogs, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.